Hi, welcome to Wilson Bridge. My name is Brian Drew, Senior Strategist at Wilson Advertising. And today on Wilson Bridge, we've got John Brooks, Wilson Advertising's Creative Director. And he's going to be here today to talk with us about um, design and creative, right? So one of the things we talk a lot about on Wilson Bridge is how we like to bridge the gap between the investments you're making in marketing technology and the personality of your brand. Very simple. The personality of your brand and how do you get that out and how do you get your message out? That's, um, that's solving a problem, right? So how do we use creative, not just to look beautiful and amazing, but how do we use creative to also solve business problems? Okay, well, thanks, Brian. It's great to be here. Um, we are problem solvers and we use uh, creative thinking, uh, design-based thinking to solve businesses' problems. And design can be a tool for transformation. The power of design has a, can have such a meaningful impact. Uh, really, it's everywhere. And it can real-world business and social uh, problems. So you see it in life, you see it everywhere you go. Everything you consume has a design intent to it. Doing that well and thinking it through and bringing that into every aspect of how we work on businesses, really their strategic goals right. with these creative solutions. Yeah, and so one of the one of the issues uh, that we see a lot is when we talk to marketers and we ask them, what are your priorities this year? What are your strategic objectives? And a lot of times you get a laundry list of basically IT projects, whether it has to do with a mobile application or a website, right? Something maybe um, uh, using data and automation, MarTech stuff. And these are expensive projects and they, are, they, um, they take up a lot of time, highly technical, and they're, and they're absolutely critical to marketing getting their message out the door. Mm -hmm. um, but, but oftentimes because that is such a heavy workload and that's taking up a lot of resources and budget, marketers are forgetting about their brand's personalities and the values of their brand and what their brand stands for. And so we're, we're, we're helping them work through that. We're helping them work through those problems. And, and Focus on that, right? Yes. Yeah. It, the problem is it, the heart and soul of your brand can be lost. The message can be watered down and uh, the creative can be, become mediocre, which really, that's what people really see. That's the end product. That's what people consume. And if we're not getting the right message to those people, yeah. no matter how we get it, if the message is incorrect, it, if it's not touching the people, if it's not compelling, it doesn't matter how it gets to them. They're not going to respond to it in the way we want them to. And think of all of the different ways that these messages can be displayed. It's not this one communication-based channel anymore. There's these uh, so many different behaviors yes. that people are engaging in when they can be exposed. And that's one of the things that MarTech helps with, right, mm -hmm. is, is spreading the message across lots of different channels. But that makes the challenge of your brand's personality even more difficult. Right, the 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 the, design, sure. the the spectrum of all of the different ways in which the message can be can be distributed. Absolutely, um, and really, as as a designer or creative, uh, the digital first, we're a digital agency. All all of the buzzwords, all the things that come out, really, it's it's it shouldn't, it doesn't matter where you read it again or where you see it. Um, it's more about the messaging and the emerging trend. In, in marketing and advertising is proof first, promise later. Mm -hmm. We've always been focused on the ads and getting the ads out and how they reach people, but yeah. really it's, it's about building those experiences, uh, uh, building your brand and that experience, communicating and reaching out and touching the right people in the right way because people don't, uh, they don't consume the same way as you'd mentioned earlier. And now we want, um, People want these responsive experiences that really truly enrich their lives everywhere. Yeah. What's a good example of, 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 of a brand or, or a company that, that's, that's shown this, that, that purpose-driven design at a higher level? And there, there are many of them out there, but if you think of, of Uber, uh, is it, as you look at how they, they, the world sees them, are they transportation? Or, or are they just a brilliant interface? Or, and, or, and it's, but and in a lot of ways, maybe it's the convergence of both, right? They're right. The, the, 
the transportation need did no one even knew that maybe existed right well there are taxi cabs there's lots of services for transportation right but the the the, the user experience of how you use uber is so convenient mm -hmm. and 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 so conducive to lots of different things that be, can be going on in your life and easy to do easy to fire up right so it absolutely is and the beauty of that is too again that comes back to a design thinking uh how that interface is designed how it's how it becomes intuitive and easy to use. They thought through many problems that yeah. could be there, and they make it friendly, inviting, and not scary. Um, it's it, it, This is such a thing that, you know, marketing agencies, I think, have a tendency to be so focused on selling tactics, selling projects, selling just new stuff. And a lot of times that centers around marketing technology. Talking about being consultants, what is the design of your business model? You know, marketers need to go, marketers talk a lot about wanting to be more involved at the leadership table. They want to be revenue responsible executives. That gets to we're designing a business model. That's not just about marketing. Mm -hmm. That's not just about the things that marketers are traditionally responsible for. It's a, you're designing your business model and the relationship that you have with your customers and how you get revenue. You're designing that in a way that's not just about finance and operations, but it's also about the spirit and the personality of your brand. That is, that's great. Yeah, it's, it is experience first marketing. And we really are, um, we want to deliver our very best message, our very best work, the, the creative that you want to get out there, the messaging that you want to reach out to people with has to be your best. And you deliver that to, to some, mm -hmm. to the few, and they will, they'll carry that on to the many. Uh, in a way that no marketing or media plan could ever envision. Uh, the media is not the message anymore. The experience is the message that ignites the media. Cool. That makes a lot of sense. What, what, um, you know, what do you, when you go to a, when we go and sit down with marketers, um, what are some of the things that we, that you see that are like, the, they're not on the right track. They're not seeing what creative and how it can solve problems. How do, we, how do you help explain that? How do we talk about that? Uh, it's, it's, it's often difficult um, because of, again, the trends, and it, it really is, is hard. It, design has taken, a, and creative has taken, in general, has taken a back seat in a lot of ways yeah. to, to all of this, uh, uh, this technology, which is, is incredible. And it's, it's, they're great tools. But what they're forgetting is what's the compelling parts, and not everybody's forgetting it. You can see the ones that are doing it right, um, is that that messaging is so important. Um, how we approach, how we talk to, the experiences we develop, you have to, it's a, it, again, it's a different audience than what it used to be. We don't have that one media channel. We have many. We have to control that message, yeah. and it has to be compelling to many. And uh, we don't want to just... It's more about the quality than the quantity. It can go out in many different ways, but that messaging has to be there, strong. There's such a there, there's a lot of marketers out there talking now about well, maybe we don't need all of this data, right? Maybe yeah. maybe we've we've thought that the the these platforms, these Martech SaaS platforms, have been the key to our business problems, right? And then all of this data, and we input it. That's all what's important first. And the actual brand and the personality of the brand, that's be, that was being ignored. And then now it's like, well, maybe we don't need all this data. Maybe it's just quality. And you think about the versatility of all of the different channels mm -hmm. that, that companies can communicate with their customers and prospects based on, and how dynamic that content needs to be, and how dynamic that message needs to be in, in, in what's happening and the behavior of who's, who's, who's getting it. Thinking more clearly about about the the design and thinking more practically about what do you really want to communicate very critical. Yes, very much, and it is truly studying and understanding the behaviors of, of your audience is is so important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's become behavior based rather than communication based approach, and that is the perfect moment for design because again, when we design, we 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 think about. Uh, how the viewer, the user, looks at things. How do we guide them through this journey, through compelling copy, 
through headlines, through visuals, the right amount, the right, everything's leading to an end result of where we want to take them. But we have to let them take that journey. Sure. You don't want to lead them down a path that they don't want to go. They're not going to go there. Yep. Well, I really appreciate your, uh, your time, um, and I hope you come back again. We, uh, uh, one important takeaway here is that when we talk about bridging the gap between the personality of the brand and the MarTech that's used, a huge step there is how we use creative to solve the business problems to make that gap close. So appreciate your time. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.